This evening, the sandbar remains closed. You can see the sawhorse here and the signs, danger. The sandbar floods twice daily. Very dangerous conditions out there, and that's what was happening. According to police, a nine-year-old boy and a man were walking out on the sandbar. They're walking out trying to get to the island. It was flooded over, the current so strong, it just swept them out into the bay. Firefighters comfort a mother on the beach. She's on the verge of collapse. As firefighters say, her nine-year-old son did survive. Her friend did not. You just realize in a flash that somebody's gone. You know, and it's, it's a terrible thing to see. Two helicopters circled overhead while divers combed the bay just off of Silver Sands Beach. Firefighters searched the waters by boat while DEP officers talked to witnesses on the beach. They are trying to pinpoint the area where the man went under because they say it's a large area with strong currents. This is tidal water, so as the tide comes in and the tide goes out, that's going to affect the currents. There's, there's natural currents. You've got the wind blowing in different directions, so that, that's all going to be a factor. Witnesses say a jet skier found the nine-year-old boy way out in the harbor, and while he was a strong swimmer, the friend he was with was not. Thank God the uh, jet skier was able to pick up the little boy and brought him into the shore, and the man and the little boy said, he, he couldn't swim. This is very, very dangerous area, and it seems to be people that do not know Milford. According to the fire department, this happens more often than you think. People think it's a calm, easy walk out to the island. That's why they have the danger sign. It says people really need to pay attention because it is very dangerous and deadly. I'm Bob Wilson, on the scene of Milford, News 8.